our Sierra sisters and brothers and brothers and sisters, we all come now at this time in this way and think about in our Indian religious tradition we have Peace Way. And that Peace Way is intended to honor those who have given themselves that we may live. And we share that after the ceremony. And in our Native American Christian context, we also come together in communion with the Spirit, thinking about those who have given themselves that we may live, especially Jesus who, so long ago, inspired the people in this way by setting a good example for us to follow. And today, you probably know I'm wearing a hoodie today instead of a ribbon shirt. And there's a reason for that, which I will talk about in the sermon today. But uh, we come now at this time in this way to think about what you saw has done for us. 2,000 years ago, he walked this world over there in the Palestinian region, coming into this world to inspire the people in a place of violence, a place of corruption, a place of oppression, tyranny, to let go of that need to control and dominate over others and to live in harmony with one another in all of creation. And it was so important to him, so passionately significant to him that he was willing to give his all to see this come through. And he knew that exactly that that was what was going to happen. And he did it anyway. Because it was the right thing to do. And realizing that night before he was taken, what was to come, he gathered his closest friends and companions and even his betrayer with him to celebrate that feast and to share in establishing this ritual for us to follow. And he took the bread. And as he held it up, he talked to the people. And he told them, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this and remember me. And he broke the bread. And he shared it with all the people. And later on, again knowing what was to come, he took the cup. And he said, this is my blood which is shed for you. Drink of this cup and remember me. And so we come now at this time in this way, remembering how he gave of himself to stand against tyranny and oppression, to support freedom of spirit, freedom for the people. And how he was taken and he was crucified. Despite his own fear, his terror about what was going to, he was going to have to face. He overcame it and he did it. And God blessed him and raised him up. That we may all live. And so we share now in this way. Join me in this prayer. God Almighty, our Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being in no other way, we humble ourselves before you now as we remember our brother Jesus, who stands and sits here with us 
today in spirit and who long ago stood among the people he put himself on the line he carried no weapons he did not seek power and control over others he did not seek great wealth for himself at the expense of others what he sought was freedom of spirit freedom for the people to live in harmony with one another, honoring the sacredness of God in all life. And in setting that good example for us to follow, he took the bread and he blessed it. As we ask his blessing upon this bread now, your blessing. And he took the cup and blessed it. We ask your blessing upon this cup now too. As we come now to join this one mind, one body, and one spirit with our brother and with your spirit in this way. For your glory and the benefit of all our creations, we pray these things in your name for all these things we are. So as you say, as we take this bread and we drink this cup. 